Hi friends, Mel Jeffcoat here. Um, I went to a uh, book sale, a library book sale, just the other day, and I figured I would uh, go ahead and show you what my haul was. So, um, I love this book sale because they always have a ton of books, and they're open for an entire week, which is great, and their prices cannot be beat. They sell their hardbacks for a dollar, and paperbacks for 50 cents, or if you buy four of them at once, they're four for a dollar. So you can't beat that. So this is what I found. Now, this one, 501 must-see movies, not something I would have necessarily bought, but I had three books out of four to get that four for a dollar, and I needed to find a fourth book or put one book back. So, um, Took a look around, and I don't watch a whole lot of movies, but I would like to maybe see some of the uh, ones that are most well-known or, or considered best, so I'll probably watch a few of these and see how that goes. I did look through the index, um, and none of the movies that are my favorites are in this index, so it'll be interesting. We'll see how much of a fit this actually is, but anyway, that's the kind of the least interesting one. Um, I also got Writing the Research and Term Paper and Short Story Theories. Now these are not really pleasure reading, but I think they might have some useful information for some future projects, so that's why I picked those up. Found Wendell Berry, uh, Farming a Handbook. Now I've read a whole lot of uh, Berry's essays and I really enjoy them never read his poetry, which is what this book is, but um, I think it'll be good. I really enjoy his writing, so um, yeah, hopeful on that one. And for 25 cents, I'll give it a go. Now this one, I will admit, I bought mostly for the Edward Gorey cover, but uh, I took a look at the table of contents and the stories looked good too, so um, I've read a few of them. The other ones should be fun. This massive tome, Pagans and Christians, the longest subtitle ever, Religion and the Religious Life from the 2nd to the 4th century AD, when the gods of Olympus lost their dominion and Christianity with the conversion of Constantine triumphed in the Mediterranean world. Well, that's a mouthful, um, and it's a rather thick book with small type, but uh, it's probably got a lot of interesting information, so I might chip away at that at some point. All right, now we're getting into the really fun stuff. So I found this copy of the Tao Te Ching, which I haven't actually studied or read yet, but I've read a little bit about it. And this particular translation looks interesting. Um, it's translated by somebody named Red Pine. And to uh, just read from the back here, it says, um, with a breakthrough translation that is as informed as it is beautiful, Red Pine breathes new life into the poems and corrects errors in previous interpretations. This edition also presents the original Chinese text alongside each verse. Pine goes a step further to offer selected commentaries from emperors and scholars, Taoist nuns and Buddhist priests, poets and philosophers for each of the 81 verses. So that sounds really interesting. It looks like it be a really good uh, starter edition of that book. So far. And then finally, this one right here. This was my big find. It was actually the very first book that I picked up to buy. The Secret Teachings of All Ages by Manly P. Hall, which as you can see is quite the tome. Um, an encyclopedic outline of Masonic, Hermetic, Kabbalistic, and Rosicrucian symbolical philosophy. Now, I first got to know Manly Hall, um, not personally, he's been dead a while, but uh, through his lectures, um, back actually when uh, the COVID pandemic started and everything was shut down, I happened to be working for a uh, residential mental health facility as a maintenance person. And 
they were short staffed. They were all, they're always short staffed, but they were even more short staffed because people quit. And the staff that normally did the overnight cleaning in the buildings, uh, who there weren't enough of them, um, were too busy with you know taking care of the residents uh, to do the cleaning. So I ended up going in about three, I think, in the morning every day to clean the entire building top to bottom. And uh, it was actually quite nice because nobody else was awake for the most part, other than the staff, but they were on the third floor and I was on the first or second. Um, so I took uh, a whole bunch of Manly P. Hall's lectures, which are available on YouTube. There's actually many more of them available now than there were four years ago. Uh, but I just load those up into my MP3 player and listen to those while I clean the building. And it was actually a really wonderful way to spend several hours every day. Um, so, you know, if you're interested in uh, esoteric philosophy, Manley Hall is from the early part of the 1900s up into, um, he lived until the 80s or 90s, I think, um, and lectured pretty close up to the end. So he covered a huge range time period of when he was writing and lecturing and he was just incredibly knowledgeable about esoteric philosophy and so if you have any interest in that his uh, lectures are fascinating check out probably hundreds of them at this point on youtube um, so i was really excited to find this one especially for only 25 cents be a great resource as i continue to work through my own project so that's it. That's my haul from the library sale. Um, didn't bring too many home, fortunately, because I have a lot already. So the ones that I did plan were very interesting and valuable. Um, so with that, I will close out and I will sign in. And until next time, keep exploring.